All right, what's going on, everyone? So I'm trying something new here on uh, Riker Comics. We're going to try to go into an artist deep dive. And right, um, what's going on, everyone? So I'm trying let me something uh, here. turn the volume off for the, the actual stream there. Um, anyway, so we're trying something new. Uh, we're going to dig into artists a little bit. I saw some people were interested in seeing artists' techniques and styles and being able to um, tell who does what covers or um, pages in these comics and being able just to tell different artists from one another by how they draw their stuff. I know that's something that I really don't know how to, um, but with the help of my sister, uh, hopefully she's going to be able to guide us along the way and um, maybe we can learn a thing or two. So uh, my sister's Jessie and she had recently graduated from Kutztown University in Pennsylvania with an art education degree slash art history. I see a nodding down there. And um, I don't know, she knows her stuff. So I'm gonna ask her some questions. We have kind of an outline, but nothing too concrete. We're just gonna kind of go with the flow. And if anybody has questions, um, fire away. But uh, welcoming the art expert. Um, without further ado. <laughs> What's up, Jesse? Hi. Hello. Um just so we are clear, no expert over here. Just <laughs> try my best. <laughs> That's right. At a helping decipher some things. Yeah. And yeah. Pointing out some things that not everyone looks at right away. That's right. You know, and um, you know how I said I was going to try and uh, look at it first and tell you what I saw? Mm hmm. Well, now that's really hard because of the things you told me now I'm kind of looking at those things. So I don't have like that same amateur eye looking at it now. Right. Just you with, know? uh, just with this one, right? Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. This one, this one, you kind of ruined it for me now. I, by looking at it and just those few things, I can, I can really tell the difference. Um, so it's going to be hard for me to tell you what I think so far of this one. So that means moving forward we can't have conversations prior to this. Yeah, that's right. About what I think of, of some of these stuff before we jump into it. What's right. up chop chops. Good guy. He's always around. Um, always posting on people's stuff. Hopefully uh, you learn some things here with us. Um, so this week we're doing sauna Takeda and um, we're just going to start with, I guess a little bit about her background and uh, what she's done so far. Um, then we'll kind of get into her works of art and, um, I guess uh, I'll, I'll try to tell you what I looked at and then we'll get into what Jesse sees and, um, pointing out like what she does well, what she does differently from other people. Um, like I said, that way, when you see her art, you can say, oh, that's, that's who that is. Um, and then we got a surprise for her at the end. So. Uh, <laughs> which I didn't tell her about. So, so stay tuned. Uh, I'm not going to try and drive this out too long. Uh, I like to keep them short under an hour. Um, time does seem to fly by, but uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to do the screen share here. So this is Sana Takeda. Um, let me just get into that page. Her website is incredible. If anyone ever gets a chance to look at it. Yeah. So I, I, posted the link to this website down in the description below in case you want to go check it out. Um, just from her tab here, you can see there's home about her gallery news contacts. Uh, I didn't really click on any of this yet, but I, I believe you can buy her, uh, her um, creator uh, content, a comic, I, I guess that's what you call it. Creator owned. Um, she, created this monstrous line um the series and and she sells that work but uh a little bit about her so she is a japanese hugo and eisner award-winning illustrator and comic book artist after having worked as a designer at sega corp um and there's some work for that as well she became a freelancer while drawing a marvel 
are for Marvel. She also creates illustrations for games and children's books. Her representative work is monstrous there, which she's holding. And then um, my sister wants to go over these awards. I was just going to skip over them other than mention that she has a lot of them. Um, I just don't know what they are. And, and Jesse does. So I'm going to let her pick out a few, I guess, whatever she knows what they are and how she feels about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, first off, I think that it's it's quite remarkable, right? To see just this list. It's kind of just kind of stops you and you see just tons of them. But I think pointing mm -hmm. out um, like weekly or entertainment weekly, like that is a large corporation where they're just highlighting her, right? For best comic book of the year. Those awards that you mentioned earlier are in the comic book world. Also just a disclaimer for everyone. Comic, I am new to the comic book thing because of my brother. Like I, the only reason I know about this is because of him. So don't come for me because I don't know a lot about comic books. I just know the art side of it. Um, and there is a clear bridge between like art education and comics mm -hmm. and how they're used in the classroom setting. But just looking at these awards, a lot of them are clear in the realm of just comic book and just in the world of that. And then you also have the Washington Post. So you have that magazine, you have Barnes and Noble. It's just, these are massive scale worldwide awards and she's winning them. Mm -hmm. So I think that's something amazing to point out. It is incredible. And, and even though I didn't know what they were, I definitely did stop and take a look at all these and just thought, wow, that's quite a lot. Yeah. Um, there does seem to be a gap unless they just didn't update uh, her website here after 2019, maybe she took a little break, but um, right. there's there's quite a lot in a short period of time. I mean, only mm -hmm. four years, 2015 to 2019. Right. Um, and I think that it would be interesting to do a deeper dive into kind of what series she got these awards from. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. kind of looking at that deeper. Yeah, no, that's a good idea. Um, maybe after 2019, that's when she got into her own monstrous series. Maybe, maybe that, that's when things started to take a break. Um, but that's that's a uh, the little bit about Sana Takeda there. So mm -hmm. basically, I guess we'll go into. Um, so <laughs> when Jesse pointed this out, she recommended uh, we take a look at her stuff. Um, the only two pieces I have are this Spider Man: The Black Cat Strikes game verse, and this is in that Sega. That's saying a realm. Um, and I actually just won these from a giveaway from uh, the Comic Lounge. Um, so if if I wouldn't have won these, I wouldn't have really had anything of hers. But now that I see them, I think they're uh, really cool. And I'm going to be keeping an eye out for them. But um, just going to do a little screen share again here just to... Um, there you are. Get back here. <laughs> Just so I can point some things out while I go over this stuff. All right, so this is what I was, I had here on the side, and this is just uh, an overall Google search of her name and her work. Um, and this is obviously the the big one here. Um, but did what I noticed the most was like the way she she does uh, the hair. And, it, and it's, and I'm real basic <laughs> and this is why I needed help. Um, like the, the hair it's, it's, uh, I don't know. Sometimes hair is just outlined. Um, but she tends to draw lines for, for all the hair, which I know is like really silly. Um, as far as like me being an amateur, uh, pointing this stuff out. I'm just trying to, even like the Miss Marvel hair, you can see like all the streaks going through the hair. Sometimes, like I said, it's just outline. It's on the outside and the inside, but, but she goes through each strand. And, um, other than that, I just thought her work was, was very detailed. Um, there's a lot of intricate drawings in here and definitely like a smoky hazy style, like almost like a pastel. I don't know. But since Jesse pointed out, she does like to use, um, dull, duller colors, yeah, um, and I am. Um, there's always a trick that we talk about, right? So if you go back to her Google page mm -hmm. and you scroll up a little bit, we're going to do a trick. So if you squint your eyes at the screen, it kind of all becomes the same group of colors. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so I she do. has a very simple 
but very individual color palette that she uses. And I think that's absolutely amazing because it trademarks her as an artist. So right. it makes it more recognizable when you see it. So she has those golds, she has the grays, the blacks. That hint of like warm tone is in there. Mm -hmm. And I just think that, that it you can tell that it's her. There's a couple other things that I'm gonna point out, but just starting out, um, like Ryan said, her color palette is just prominent and it's there. Mm -hmm. Now going to the hair part of it, um, you kind of see this in her series and then you also see it in Miss mm -hmm. Marvel, like you said, and then there's a couple others we're going to point out. But her hair in her series always goes to a wispy end or does that curl. Let me pull up another one. Yeah, let me let me find it here. Yep. This one. That one seems yep. to be good. See how that always curls at the end? She always does something and it always shows a bit of movement mm -hmm. that it looks like your character's about is going through the wind or that there's movement to the hair. Um mm. and she does a really great job of showing that. Mm, like the staticness that you're talking about. Yes. But not static hair. Not static. That there's breath or that there's movement in the character. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> I'm not too sure if this one is her or not, but same thing. I mean, you can see in the hair, all the streaks, the, the wispiness at the ends. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Cause if you look down at the bottom of the page, obviously it has a link to her website. Right. I don't right? know if that one's hers or not, but I could argue that it, it is very similar to her style if it is not hers. Yeah. Um, but then you then you have this here. I mean, that's that's not a woman. So mm -hmm. what what do you look for here? That's kind of so it's her work. Other right. well, go ahead. There's gonna be a couple things. So like we were talking about before, the color palette, right? It's the same kind of muted, hazy colors, kind of foggy in the background. However, what she does incredibly well, which I am super jealous of her and her technique, is that she almost brings a stained glass style to her artwork. What I mean by that is when you look at stained glass from a distance, it looks incredibly detailed, right? And I'm talking in facial features of characters or if you think stained glass in a religious sense, like the face of those figures. But when you zoom in, it's flat with minimal shading on the face. Mm -hmm. And if you look at this character here, that thick outline is what kind of drives home the stained glass look to it. Mm. So it kind of looks like it pops out of the background mm -hmm. and it's in a layer. Yeah. But on top of that, her backgrounds that she creates, Ryan, you touched on this before, but are incredibly detailed and super amazing with just how much time she has to spend just on the backgrounds. And it's like as if you were in that kind of setting. Yeah. And, and I know you mentioned about um, the characters kind of not so detailed, but the backgrounds tend to be more detailed than than the forward object. Mm -hmm. um, I know this was another one that I had picked out just because mm -hmm. it's kind of different from uh, the colors are still muted, but it's a different other than the gold and bronze and, and grays. Right. Uh, the hairstyle is still the same, very wispy at the ends, the streaks in there. Um, right. Is there anything right. else that, that you notice in this one? That's. I don't know if you can, but can you zoom in on the face? I don't think I can. Okay, yes, I can. <laughs> okay, cool. So I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> so what I was mentioning about that stained glass look is that you see her face from far away before you zoomed in. It looked incredibly detailed, right? It looked like that figure, you could see that um the form of her face but as soon as you zoom in it kind of looks flat in a sense of it just looks like it's there mm -hmm. just like the basic details right the basic bare minimum but as soon as you zoom out it is that detail again but then i want you to look at the background look at that intricate work of those mandalas that are in the back and that line work she's an incredible illustrator mm -hmm. everywhere i mean even like the 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 areas that you wouldn't even think about doing she just adds something in there right absolutely there's always some kind of movement to her artwork and it going back to that stained glass look like look at the that hard edge on the side of her face and how thick that line is i know she's doing that to add shadow however 
I feel like I could just take that figure out of that background and they could still stand alone together or apart from each other. Right. Yeah. Very nice. So that's back. Oh, cool. I guess I get this whole window. Um, is there anything else that you see that you want me to click on? Hmm. Uh, if we could go to the one that I picked up, the, the black cat. yeah, the black, cat. <laughs> and then I want to save one of my favorites for the end, or for yeah, close to the end. So this one, right? This she did in person as a commission at Comic Con for whoever requested it, right? So this was on mm -hmm. the fly. All she uses is Sharpie. A silver sharpie and like a 0.3 micron those are the only three supplies she uses and her style and her way of her drawing is mm -hmm. so prominent only with those three materials like there you go you have the hair again then you have the deep outline around the whole figure which pulls it out from the paper and then you also have that detailed line of her chest and right how here. there and then Yep, even in the collarbone up in mm, there. Yeah. Her thin work. But I also want to point out the shading on her top where the black is. Here? Down. Oh. Yeah, right in there. So she simply used a Sharpie, but I want to look at the line work that she used and how meticulous she left those blank areas to break up that black marker so it wasn't like a solid, thick chunk of black just thrown at the bottom. She mm, allowed yeah. those breaks. So it replicates her illustrative work that she uses in the background of her covers of her artwork. Mm, I didn't even notice that. Go figure. That's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly why I'm here. No, that's cool. Um, and then we have, I have this cover. No, I don't. I have one of them. Yes, but... the Spider-Man. Yeah. Everybody loves Spider Man. Right. So, Same. When, I mean, the hair, the hair is right, almost when, like the, the giveaway, right? For her stuff. Like, right. what is it what, that you look at her that I know you noted, noted the hair? Right. The hair. I the also want, ones. like, look at that deep outlining of each figure. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay. So, you think about mm -hmm. Spider Man, right? It's been right. done before, mm -hmm. right? How do you make sure that you do it so you can tell that it's your Spider Man? <laughs> I don't know. There's the hair, right? Which Spider Man doesn't have his hair shown. Right. But with the other figures in the comics, she makes it known that that's hers. Mm. <clears throat> that deep outline that she does, it looks like you can pull those figures right off that page. Yeah. Well, you know right? what, what else I noticed? Yeah. Um, do you know how in the corners how I was saying in, in those blank spots, she adds these little lines? Mm -hmm. They're even in here, too. Right. Right. Also, if you t think about what we were talking about in the beginning, she has that haziness or that fog that she adds. Right. And I know she's trying to replicate the lighting of those buildings, mm -hmm. but still like on the corner of the cover, the fog coming off the spotlight in the top. Oh, yeah. Like that stuff is just, and even like, this is so crazy, but if you squint your eyes with this one, she still has that muted red. She doesn't have that prominent red that Spider-Man is normally known to have. Right. It's like a so darker. Right, so she still keeps that in her color palette of using those muted tones of mm -hmm. her colors. Right. But like we were saying, like what I was pointing out earlier with her figures is that there's, it looks detailed from a distance, but as soon as you zoom in, it's just those those minimal features that she adds where it looks like that they're detailed. Yeah. I see what you mean. I didn't before. <laughs> no, it's interesting. I mean, she, she definitely has a style of her own. That's no mistake there. Right. And I think that that is something to just open your eye to a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Like when you enter into the world of art, mm -hmm. right, and you start creating a name for yourself, you got to start branding yourself. So what is it something that I have? What is it something that I use to create with that you might not? Right. Oh, this one's incredible too. What's that? This one's incredible too. The Batman. 
Yeah. Let's see if I can. Why can't I zoom on that? Let me just open this up real quick. Can't seem to find something. Take your time. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this one a lot. Oh, white fox. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming white fox is not hers. It's part of the Marvel collection, correct? Yeah, correct. Right. But she did this cover. Right. And I don't know. I feel awful for admitting this. I don't know White Fox. So I, don't, I really don't either. And her use of light in this is just remarkable mm -hmm. in the sense of you see that bright light coming out, but it's not a stark white where it's it doesn't match with her theme of her other stuff. It's at like toned down white but it's still that prominent light source yeah why and even go ahead why do you think she added this little uh, black stuff in there is that part of it I is it know. coming out of the whatever is floating around maybe just gonna give it a little that's not like a technique no, but oh. if you wait, hold on. <laughs> you clicked out of that way too fast, brother. Oh, okay, you got a lot to go on here. <laughs> Scroll down to the bottom where the feet are. Like zoom in. Do you see the line work she has in there? Yeah. That illustrative, pulling it over again <clears throat> to her work. Also, this one's a little different in the sense of it might be just be because of the character she's drawing. But mm -hmm. the outline is there, but she does it in black, and then she does it in white. Right. So <laughs> highlighting that figure and elevating the figure. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then even that black artwork that comes off the, the right side mm -hmm. and wraps around the figure in the back, go up mm -hmm. a little bit. That's oh, right yeah. yeah. That um, is very reminiscent of, like, wood block prints. What's that? Just, like, a print on a block of wood? <clears throat> It's where you get a block of wood. Um, it's very prevalent in, ja prevalent in Japanese art. Where you carve into the wood, ink it, and then print that. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a technique. Mm. Okay. Very interesting. Well, I'm running out of pictures here. You tell me when you want me to throw my last one in. You got anything else you want to? Yeah. Do... um. The cover of book two, or volume two, whatever it's called. Monstrous. Yes. <laughs> Monstrous, volume two. <clears throat> Which called one? The Blood. Uh, it's the second one right there. This one? Yes. Let's just talk about this cover for a second. Hold on, give me a, give me a little bit. Oh, you got to find one you can zoom in on. Yeah. These are all like eBay. Mm. Um, I'll give this one a shot. Can you see this? Yeah. So. I see the waves. Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to point out to you. Mm -hmm. So those waves, mm -hmm. <clears throat> pull up another tab, and I want you to search the Great Wave woodblock print. <laughs> now, if you knew anything about art or art history, you're going to know this print as soon as it pops up. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think I've seen it. Yeah. Right. That is a world-known woodblock print that is Japanese mm -hmm. and it is just reprinted, remade all the time. So if you go back to the cover, yeah, just her connection to her art history and her connection of bringing in her heritage to her artwork 
is just remarkable. Mm -hmm. And there's also, um, I mean, I think you can argue that there's a sense of anime style to her artwork with her figures. Um, I know that not all of her artwork has like the big eyes or um, Mm -hmm. the other kind of key points of anime, but I think that hers kind of touches on it a little bit. But this one, just pointing out everything again, the hair, the way it swooshes, the outline of the figure, the muted color palette. But the way that that she incorporates even to the background of her cover is just, yeah. I don't know. It just kind of is just remarkable. It is. I mean, there's a lot of detail in there too. I, I definitely noticed the waves first thing. I mean, that was right. first thing I noticed. I mean, and then obviously the intricacies and everything else. You know, she does a lot of gears in this one. I don't know if that's just part of the series. Um, yeah, part of the series. But um, I mean, her her garment does have a lot of detail on that as well. Right, but I don't know if you're able to scroll in on the face and it's like the same thing that we've been talking about. Dull. Minimal detail. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I can't. (laughs) Yeah. I can't scroll in on it. But I think you kind of got the... I do. The gist of it. I do. But I totally appreciate when artists put little nods of art history in their artwork. Mm -hmm. Or kind of touch upon it nonchalantly. So. Did you know what that... Did you know what that was? Just Oh, as soon as I searched her name and that artwork popped up, I was like, no way. Like, this is incredible. Yeah. Do you guys go over that stuff? Well, yeah, but I feel like you kind of learned about that stuff way before. Like, The Great Wave is such a classical or, like, classic artwork. Yeah. yeah. Like, you even know about it? Not to be rude. (laughs) (laughs) No, I hear you. And it's like, it's kind of like the same thing. If I pointed out the Mona Lisa to you, like you would know what that is. Yeah. I would hope. I do. That I do know. I can't seem to bring it up. That is a okay. Do you, do you uh, look at this in a class and go over it? The great wave. I mean, in my art history classes, we would like touch upon a bunch of artwork. Yeah. Um, but funny story, when I was in high school, <clears throat> I had such a great appreciation for this artwork because I just found a liking in printmaking. Mm-hmm. And I just think that this artwork is just incredible. And I ended up making a replica of it. But the cheesy thing was I made it all out of glitter and I made it layered. So <laughs> I made like a shadow box. Yeah. Where it became like a three-dimensional piece where like, do you see how that front wave kind of separates from the back wave? Mm-hmm. And then that separates from the mountain in the back. Uh, I made mine into stag- staggered yeah. layers. I think, I, yeah, I know where you're going with that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I have. So you got something you want to throw up there? Those were my two. I don't think my um, – No, I still have that surprise for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> but as far as, um, like, going over her stuff and, and uh, what makes her stand out. Right. Ryan, I think everyone would be curious to know, kind of, what did you see when you first saw it? I the told you, just color. like the way the hair was done. The that was it. The individual strands, yeah. I mean, there's definitely like a Japanese style to it. That's right. That goes without saying. Um, but like the muted colors, I I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. But now that's like the hardest thing to not see. Right. How right. all the colors are the same. Um, but that was it. And then I would go into like, well, what's like the shape of like the heads or how's the face drawn? You know. Yeah. Well, like, it's so funny that you mentioned that because when you first asked me to do this, right, yeah. I was looking up artists, and there's so many that I see that use the same female figure for all the female figures in the comics. Right. And it's so noticeable mm-hmm. that it's just like, oh, this is like, I don't want to say boring, but it's like so repetitive. Yeah. But she doesn't do that, like at all. Right. It's definitely and, different. Right. Very individualized. Right. Yeah. I know. Well, that that's kind of what it draws me and stuff that's different that 
you know, not everybody else is doing. Um, that's why I kind of was all for um, doing her work because it's definitely different than than other people's. Right. Um, all right. Are you ready for the big the big surprise? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So uh, all it is is like a quiz. A quiz. A quiz. For me. For you. Oh boy. <laughs> so um, I I did a little collage here, and uh, we're gonna see if you can pick hers out of um, out of four. You might okay. know them. And one of them I had to take the colors out just to make it a little bit more hard. I made it black and white. Well, that's not fair. Yeah, absolutely, it's fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, it's my. fair. It's more than fair. Are you going to tell me, like, how many are hers and how many aren't hers? No. What's the fun in that? There may be none of them that's hers in, in these. So. Okay. So, automatically, this bottom one here with uh, Captain America? Mm-hmm. Not hers. How can you tell? I actually like that you picked out what's not hers first. Well, the color palette is just too poppy. Mm-hmm. And the hair is too curled. And there's not enough detail. Okay. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. I'll give you that one. Yes. That is not okay. hers. The one right above it. But um, man, you're good. I noticed her that that uh I'm not too sure who that character is, but that um that one there on the right, yeah, her mm -hmm. hair is like really wisped up, huh? Mm-hmm. All so right. That so that automatically so, means the one diagonal from that. So narrow it down. You Go from what you don't think is hers to what you do think is hers. And then tell me why you don't think it's hers. I honestly... And I'll tell you if you're... you're um... <sighs> this is difficult. Okay, <laughs> so good? I'm just going to... I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Well, this okay. is well, this is how it is for us because we see all these covers and, and this is why I wanted to do this because it's hard for me to look at any one of these and say that that's hers and this is why I can tell it's hers. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, right off the bat, what I would say was the only one that I think is truly hers is the one right above that. Mm -hmm. And maybe the one right beside that one. So, the top right and the top left. Okay. Would be maybe hers. The bottom right mm -hmm. is questionable only in the fact of... I don't know. I just, I don't think that one's hers either. I just think it's too, I don't know what to say, but I just don't think it's hers. Mm -hmm. It's the hair. Yeah. There's not I, enough strands in the hair. <laughs> I also don't think that the figures are popped out enough. Okay. That, but I think the top left is for sure hers. I mean, that. let's go back down to the bottom right. You definitely okay. notice there's no strands in that hair. Right. You know? I don't see a harsh outline. So and I, I think was... that if she was doing the red, she would not have it that bright. Okay. Good points. Good points. You're going to tell me it is hers, aren't you? No, that's actually, you're right. That's not hers. <sighs> yes. Two for two. Mm -hmm. But then the top two are the ones that I question. Well, the top right is the one I question more. The top okay. left, I'm pretty sure is hers. Okay. Why? Let's go with the, the right first. Okay. I think it's everything we just talked about. The hair, the color palette. There's yeah. that stained glass feel to it where the faces are detailed from a distance, but when you get closer, they're more like a flat. Over here. So that's okay. why you think it's... Maybe not. Maybe not. I did good, right? Yeah, you did do good. <laughs> <sighs> it was hard. I don't I know. Really, I just I don't think that one's hers either. No. If it is, it might be one of her earlier works. Just a gut feeling more so than yeah. style and technique. I don't think that one's hers either. That one I do. Why? Maybe I do. I just, I don't know. There's that fogginess and that haze to it where she carries that over. Mm-hmm. You're gonna sit here and be like, none of these are hers. It was no. all a trick. All right, I'll break it to you. This is this is hers. So you did yeah. good. 
Yes. This, is, this isn't hers, but there's a guy, um, Billy Tushi, I think his name is. It's T-U-C-C-I, but his work is very close, as you could tell, to, to Sana's. Well, that was good. Yeah, you were right. I'm impressed with myself, too. I, I actually made you struggle. All right, you ready for the next? I got three. I thought you said that was four. Uh, well, I got three samples for you here. Three te or uh, three tests. Oh gosh. How'd I do here? Oh gosh. This one actually might be easy now that I'm looking at it. Oh goodness. So really? Because I think this one's a little hard? hard. I think this one's pretty hard. Why? I don't think that the bottom left is hers. Why? I just. Actually, I don't know. Give me a second to look again. <laughs> Do you need me to zoom in? No, because I want to look at them all together. This, this is what I did for you know a good portion of my day yesterday. Put these together in a collage. <laughs> um, try to find ones that were similar. I and and to find pictures that I knew um, you had pointed out that she does well and is part of her style. Right. So then I would argue that the bottom right one is hers. Okay. Why? Well, then we'll save that one for later. Oh. If, if you think that one's right, I don't want to just blow through them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, so which one do you think is not hers? Okay, I'll give you the hint. The only one of these in all these samples is hers. What? There's only one in, in all of these that is hers in each set. Okay, so the top left one is not hers. Okay, why? It's just the the hair is too individualized. Yeah, too detailed. Right. And I also don't see her doing a figure face like that one above that's the marionette controller. Mm, okay. I don't see that being hers. You're right. So I picked this one because it had a detailed background. Mm -hmm. Intricate background. The hair, I mean, that's like a dead giveaway, right? Right. Um, the one. It, it's very strandy. Right. And it's also um, like she doesn't do that kind of color tone on like the body. Mm -hmm. So I knew that one automatically was not hers. The one below that I also don't think is hers just because of the hair. Mm -hmm. One and two, the background isn't as detailed as what I think her work would be. Okay. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Now, scroll over. These two are the ones that I'm struggling with the most. I, I want to say no to the top one because of how bright that red is. Okay. And how bright the color is in her hand. Okay. And the hair also just does not seem like something she would do. Why not? Because I just don't think it's like... it. This is hard to kind <laughs> of say because the first one we said it was too detailed. This yeah. one's not detailed enough. Okay. And the end of her hair is just, it doesn't seem like it would match with her style. Yeah, it doesn't really wisp. Right. Now, the bottom one, although those are the bright light sources, they're still dim. Really? There's still that haze. Wow, I did pretty good with that, right? There's, like, bright in each of these that you have to. Yeah. Was I right? Yeah, you're right. Yes! <laughs> it was you. <laughs> just want to give a quick shout out here to... Uh... The comics book G spot. What's up, brother? Hope you're enjoying the the show. Trying to do something a little different here. Put my sister to the test. She's doing good so far. <clears throat> I'm actually uh, kind of surprised. I, I think it's nice the way we're doing it though, too. This is fun for me, right? Because <laughs> you have to um, use all that stuff that you told us that she does well, and and uh, you were close down to the last two. Um, so you, uh, you told us all those things to look for and then just kind of breaking each one down. Cause like I said, this, this is what we get. We get like all these different colors, uh, covers and, and just to kind of just sit there and point one out and say that that's their work. Mm -hmm. It's tough to do. All right. So I think what should happen is I should do this to you next time. Okay. We could do that. So then you have to actually listen to what I say. Mm-hmm. I did listen. I well, I told you that last one I thought was going to be easy because of what you told me, and, and now that I looked at it. 
So oh, this, is, boy. this is the one I took the color out so you don't have a, a, a chance with the color. That is for sure not fair. It's very fair. Okay, automatically right off the bat. Now you have to look at the shading, the line work. All that other stuff, I don't know what they do and, and, and techniques they use. Right off the bat, I'm just going to put a blind guess to it. I'm going to say hers is the top right. Okay. So then let's work to that. Okay, so the top left, absolutely not. Why not? I, I think that it's too dark. And I also mm -hmm. think that it's just not like her figure's not outlined enough, or the figure's not outlined enough. It's not hers. Yeah. Right. The the beard too. Mm -hmm. Right. It's too too uh, detailed. Mm -hmm. And the more you zoom in, and I can see the other one. <laughs> Which one? This one. That one. Yeah. There's those damn lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you that that's it. So why do you think these other ones? I thought this one would be very close. To no, me. I was originally going to guess that one. Yeah. But then I looked at the background and realized that there wasn't a lot of detail in the background and it's not her. Well, like the hair and everything, right? The hair is very similar. <clears throat> but it's not I a also static character. Her figure. What did you just say? <laughs> it's not static. <laughs> It isn't static. It does have movement to it. But you see how that figure just kind of, it runs right up to that background and it looks like it can be in that background? No. So, okay. Look at that figure down there at the bottom. The one we yeah. just zoomed in on. Yeah. There's not a harsh outline right. of the figure. Mm -hmm. It kind of just goes to the figure and then it just melts into the background. Now go up to hers. Do you see how there's that prevalent outline yeah. across the whole figure? Yeah. I see what you mean there. Mm hmm To give it depth. Mm hmm Okay. I feel you. And that and bottom one is just too cartoony. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was hard enough to find four of them to put together. To, <laughs> But I went... Um, it, it's easier when you found the same book and cover. And then there, each person did like a variant cover of that same book. Right. But um good job. And then here's here's the original set. But you can oh, see the color. Yeah. Yeah. Super brassy gold mm -hmm. dark. <clears throat> Little misty there too down at the bottom left. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you can definitely tell. That was a fun little game. I know, right? I'm proud of you. Thank you. That was fun. <laughs> I had to I had to hit you there with the special at the end and not let you prep for it. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you want to make the next set of collages for me. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, right? It definitely adds adds a little something. Because you get the education part, right? In the first mm -hmm. bit, you learn about the artist. Then you get the education. And then you get to put the education to the test. Right. <clears throat> so, I'm happy you took the color out of that. That would have been a clear giveaway. Right. And I thought that's, this one was a good one to take the color out mm -hmm. with the lightning and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> But then when I zoomed in on these freaking, see, even the amateur me knows those little fine cut cut details in there. Right. I mean, even if you zoom out, something else I noticed too, which really drew, drew me to that one being hers, because you can't really see those lines. Yeah. No, right? not that far out, right? But look at the face. Uh-huh. And the way how I was saying that looks detailed, but there's also a softness to the face mm -hmm. is seen in that one. Yeah. And it's very similar to all of her other characters. Well, how is there not a softness in this face? There's still that harsh line that this this artist does. So when you say softness, what do you mean by softness? Like, I hate having to go back to the same... Um, like, like air? Like airy? Like... Yeah, but like also... Not a hard, jagged face? Right, but there's also this similar connection, and I've said this so many times, but, like, to stained glass. So, like, mm -hmm. Ryan, for example, pull up a photo of a stained glass figure. Mm, I'll have to – give me a second. Yeah, take your time. But when you look at stained glass <laughs> figures, right, yeah. the way that it's done is that the glass is formed 
So all that the, the face gets put in is as a whole piece. Mm -hmm. Like the eyes aren't put in separately. Um, the eyebrows aren't put in separately. It's all put in as one piece of glass. So mm -hmm. there's no like harsh line, no prominent detail. It all just kind of fades into each other. But you mm -hmm. still see like that top one right there with the this two one. figures. This one. No, over. That one. This one. Is this what you meant? No. Down it was below. the one on the left. There's, oh, there's three figures. There's one sitting. It's a singular window. Jeez, why is this so hard? A photo. I don't know. Or, mm -hmm. I mean, go back up. I don't see three figures sitting. Other back than this up. one. No, there's one. Okay, so zoom in on one of those faces if you can. How's that? I can't see anything that you're zoomed in on. Oh, you can't? No. <laughs> Darn. All right, give me a second. One second here. Stained glass. Oh, you're about to be. Boom. Okay. You see the softness that these faces have? I d when you say softness, I don't know whether you describe like. So I'm talking about the, the color, the right? shape. Like, look at the male figure. Yeah. And look at the face. Can you zoom in a little bit more? I can't. Okay. So if you look closely at the face, yeah. do you see how the highlight and the shadow of the face just kind of blend together? Like, it's like yeah. a seamless blend. There's no, like, there's a hair here, there's a hair here, there's another hair here. Yes. You see that highlight and shadow just kind of melt together. Even with the hands, you see the same thing. Okay. Great use of value. She does the same thing in her artwork. It's, it's hard for me to wrap my head around, but I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know. Right. Like, I, well, I get like, it. If you look at that figure, right, its hair, its face, and its neck are all one piece of glass. Yeah. That are stuck there. Yeah. It's not like the eyes are put in separately, the face is put in separately than the hair. There's mm -hmm. no harsh line between either one of them. Mm -hmm. It's that that whole thing is just mm -hmm. plopped right in there and then built around. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get what you're saying. That's why I kept saying that hers is so reminiscent of this because look at that deep outline that they have of their figures where they look so different from the background. Right. Or that you can pull them out. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. No, I get it. <coughs> <laughs> I get it. Makes sense. All right. Well, that was fun. Did I do my job well? Yeah, I think so. I think you did better than well. I think I think that was a lot of fun, actually. Mm -hmm. I think it was a good idea. Um, do you have any ideas for what you want to do next? There's a couple that I'm uh, a couple other artists that I'm balancing between. I mm -hmm. want to do a little bit more research on them, make sure that I know what I'm talking about before I just throw some names out there. Yeah. Um, but there's a couple. Okay. Maybe maybe if this goes well, people will throw out some recommendations. Oh, I would love that. Mm -hmm. I would love for some other recommendations because like I said earlier, I'm not like, I'm not in the comic book world. So yeah, I don't... It doesn't matter though. Um, if you appreciate art or, or anything like that, that's people, people appreciate that. Right. Right. You know, they'll let you slide on their, your uh, non-comic history. They let me slide, <laughs> you know, my lack of knowledge. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess I, I think like bi-weekly might be good for this instead of every week might be a little too much. We might run out of artists sooner than later if we do that too. Yeah. And so, I would even like, would you want to just stick to contemporary comic book artist or contemporary? If you don't know what that means, cause I had to explain this to Ryan is that um, artists within the last, like that's considered funny. modern nowadays or, or in the, May, well, maybe they say contemporary, but our, our terminology is modern. <laughs> okay, so modern artists? No, or... not necessarily. I'm, I like the the earlier artists actually seem to people like those those guys more than than the modern. They they have more of appreciation for uh like Silver Age and Golden Age art and stuff like that. Right, and I even think that older artists in comic book are easier to see because 
they've been around for so long. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's also something interesting to look at because even now modern artists want to copy that style. Oh, really? Right. I mean, that goes with artwork anywhere. A lot of times you want to learn from the old masters or you want to learn how they made it. Yeah. But it's also, you have to have your own spin on it. Yeah. What do they, what do they say? When do you get, um, inspiration? Inspiration. Who's your your inspiration? Yeah. Even like music and stuff like that. Right. Right. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we kept it under an hour. I think we did good. I actually thought it was entertaining. Um, you know, we'll prove upon it. And if you want to do the test for next time, I'll give it my best shot. And uh, yeah, <laughs> if you want to, there's gonna be no pre conversation. If you either. want to put in the work, and um, you know, we'll we'll obviously put out who we're doing and kind of the same thing. Maybe maybe we could take like a week to figure out who we're gonna do, and then another week to try just kind of put it out who we're doing and and get mm-hmm. set up. Sounds perfect. All right. Well, do you have any uh, last words for the the comic book community? No, I just wanted to say thanks. This was so much fun. I know, I right? Doing this. We should have did this sooner. I know. Well, I was like trying to, um, and and the comic book G-Spot there, he's been uh, one of my inspirations. Um, no, he's been a good guy, though. He's he's helped me out a lot. But um, uh, I was on his show a couple weekends ago, and uh, he, he asks everybody, what's thinking outside the box mean to you? And, um, you know, we're, we're all the same way. Uh, just trying to figure out something different and it's hard when you're starting out because you just do what's easy. Um, so you just do what's easy. And then this past like week or two, well, pretty much ever since I've been on a show, I'm like, man, this is getting kind of boring doing the, just showing what I buy every week and you know what I get in the mail. I'm like, I'd rather do something that's different and fun, you know? And if I could bring you on or, or Nick on and that, I think this adds a lot of value too. Right, people, right. Know, people can take this and and use it. So, right. And I also think, like, helping from my standpoint, that I can, because, like I said earlier, art education and like me teaching art to my students it has a clear parallel to comic books because students relate so much to them and like to tell stories and that kind of mapping. Mm-hmm. So you're even teaching me artists that I can look at that I can then help my students look at. Yeah, maybe you take some comics in there. And- and uh, get them to sit down for more than two seconds. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I got. So um, we'll wrap this one up. This one gets okay. saved. Everybody gets to see this. Um, I was going to tease you at the beginning that uh, Sana was coming on as a, as a special guest and really got you nervous, but I didn't. I was it. nervous enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's it. See you guys uh, in a couple of weeks. Bye. See ya.